Yeah, Rose, rinse his feet off. He's cleaning his, cleaning his shoes off. Much better. We are at the middle trail finally. And if we look way up on that black panel, you can see a man, an antelope, and a snake. You have to come on up here to see it. Here comes Daryl and Daryl. Daryl and Dwight, the double D's. Double D's. So we're hiking down from the middle trail now towards the confluence. We've been going for about eight hours, taking our time building bridges. And now we're trying to hightail it a little bit and get to the confluence in a couple hours, pick up the speed. Some more footage as we head south from the middle exit towards the uh, big rock slide or big blockage. We gotta scramble down. Um, Dale and Dwight ahead, and I am taking pictures. As you can see, every time you cross a corner, it changes. It's a cool little wider part. I don't know if it looks the same to you, but it looks different to us as we progress. Still no sign of Daryl or Dwight up ahead. We work our way through this crevasse. The temperature is really cool in here. Say it's around 55. Some birds up there, there's a bird. And you can catch it. And way up there's a giant, giant rock that I'm getting ready to walk under. Right here's probably the lowest tree stump we've seen wedged between the canyon floor. We've seen several of these. Most of them are 50, 60 feet up, but this one I've only got wedged in here. And you can imagine if there's a flash flood ripping through the canyon and you're in the way, you could end up on the wall too. I don't know if you can see me, but it's extremely dark in here. It's almost like lost in space. So probably doesn't look more than a couple hundred yards. But uh, still looking for Darren Dwight. Haven't seen him for about 40 minutes. But they're probably waiting for me at the Boulder Jam. We're opening up as we're still headed to the Boulder Jam. Um, this is Gary and there's Daryl behind us. If you can see him. And uh, there's Dwight back there. And are we having a good time, Daryl? A little tired. A little tired. A little, a little exhausted. There's a tired Daryl. Yep. Okay, here's Dwight. He's lowering down the pack. Let's go. Come on. He's done. He's down. He's almost. All right, Daryl. Okay, wrap it around you. What are we gonna do, Daryl? We're gonna get behind you. What I'm gonna do is sit down here. And we're gonna hold your butt on that one turn, okay? I'll be right here. How was it, Daryl? Scary. Scary? Yeah. Maybe it's up. I'm not it's down it. yet. There you are. You're down. You're down. You just don't know that you're down. Come straight through the rabbit hole. Here comes Daryl through the rabbit hole. What the hell? What the hell's going on? Fucking leaking all over my ass. That's all messed up. 
me up top. Okay. Here. Yeah, we don't want to lose any water. <laughs> put, your, put your arm through here. Bring it, right? Yeah, bring it up top. Bring, bring it up top. It is up top, bring man. Bring it up top and, and flip it. It's, it forms a siphon and it starts dripping out. And bring it all the way up top. Up top. Yeah, thanks. Sorry. It's okay. I'm just not sure what up top means. Up top, man. Up top. High five. Huh? High five. <laughs> Good job, man. That was good. So you want me just put this up top? Just clip it on the thing up top, yeah. I can drink it right now. It's all got my back all wet. What'd you think? Sucked. How do you like the travel agent now? I'm not liking it that much. Gary, thank you for all the arrangements. You're welcome. All right, let's I was mentally unprepared for that. Were you? Yeah. And I was mentally unprepared for the cold water. It was cold. The cold water. We thought it felt good. It kept the swelling down in our feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing what happens when you have no blood flow. Looks like a dead end, but nope. We're almost to the confluence. We're almost there. There's Dwight and Daryl. Here's me. Probably got a few photographs of Dwight and Daryl. That's okay. And we will probably next time we'll turn this on is when we hit the Pryor River. Coming up. It might be the Pryor. We're coming close to it. 5:32 p.m. Yeah, the hikers. Here's a picture from our campground. Just looking down the Praia River. These are five dollar hotel views. And there is Dwight. Words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. <laughs> Don't do this hike. <laughs> Daryl's making, Chef Daryl is making dinner. Yeah, right. <laughs> Say cheese. God, I haven't done this in years. And here's, you know, <laughs> dying <laughs> Dwight. Dying. <laughs> there might be times that I'm not sure. Really do. So it's uh, Monday morning, and here is our campsite again. Before the sun has hit it, everybody's cleaning up the site. There's Daryl, Dwight, Gary, hello. There's Dwight helping dress Daryl. Right. And this thing needs to be lengthened out. And your thing cinched down up here. This goes under. Side like this, and that brings your lid back. Look at the sheer wall cliff. Goes up five, six, seven hundred feet, five hundred feet probably. You know what I'm gonna do? What? When I get back home, I'm gonna go on YouTube. Crow. Wildlife in the hike along Pryor River towards the confluence. Coming along here to the confluence, and this way. Is Buckskin Gulch. And this way is Pry River back towards the house. What do you think, Daryl? I think it's pretty incredible. Yeah. And that way is where we came. So, what we call a tripod in geology. 
bunch of Japanese tourists taking pictures. Picture! Mm -hmm. Sorry, Japanese tourists, if you're watching this YouTube video. And as we continue our hike towards White House on the Praia, you can see just gigantic slabs of rock have been eroded out of the, out of the uh, mountains. There's sliding arch in the Praia River. Let's go under it. Let's go under it. Let's do it. Photo. Okay, try your luck. Win a stuffed animal. Who can shove the stone in the hole? Big stone. Big stone in the hole. Everybody's a winner. Get a stuffed bag full of. Oh, a winner! Okay, so we have to slide rock, slide arch. Hiking up. Canyon's a good 100 feet wide. Nice, easy hiking. Nothing compared to yesterday in terms of difficulty. Actually, probably a little prettier because you get a little bit more space to see some stuff. Okay. Closed in. So there's the start of the narrows. It comes out into the not narrows, the wides. And then we've got some water flowing. It looks like they're releasing a dam or there's rain from Kanab as the water briskly comes down. Here we are. Last two miles of the hike. It's opening up Navajo sandstone. Getting wider and wider. There's Dwight. Head. How you doing? Yes, got the hat on.